how to customize Shopify refresh theme. So hi guys, the first thing that we're going to do is to simply open our browser and sign in to our Shopify admin. So here in the left hand side, we can see sales channels, click on online stores and go to your theme section. Now under themes, all you need to do is to scroll down. All right, now if we scroll down, we can actually see popular themes right here. So in this section, we can see refresh. Let's click on it. So basically, it will route us to a different page. Now, this refresh actually um, is a bold theme that's used in Shopify. So if we scroll down to this section, you will see its features, reviews, and support. Now let's try to see the demo store for our refresh theme. Here is a demo store of the refresh theme. So you will see a very comprehensive and brief explanation of each section. All right, now let's go back and let's try the theme itself. So simply click on this one. And once you click on Try Theme, it will be added to your online store theme section. Now we will be routed back to our theme section. And after which, in our theme library, we can see that our refresh theme is still loading right here. So let's wait for it to load. All right. Now, once the refresh theme has successfully been added, click on your customize button right here. Now, in order for us to customize, let's go over each section first. So, as you can see, we're already in the home page section of our refresh theme. And this is how it looks like basically. Now, under sections, let's click on sections here in the left panel. We can actually edit the header, the slideshow the featured collections, and whatnot. So here, after that, let's try to edit this one. So for the header, for the desktop menu type, we can actually have the mega menu instead. Or you could also select the drawer. Okay, so this is how the drawer looks like. All right, now I'm going to stick with the drawer um, option right here for the header. Now you could also change the color scheme or the background color here. So from dark blue, it has become lighter. Right, you could also enable country or region selector in this area. All right. Once done editing or going over the header section, all you need to do is to simply go to the theme settings this time and then input your Facebook if you do have one, Pinterest, Instagram, and other social media accounts if you want to add it into your header section. All right, now let's add our logo as well because this is one of the most important parts for us in the header section. All right, so there you have it. Our logo has been added to our homepage. Okay, you could also actually reposition it. Um, however, I'm already good with where it is. Now let's go to the theme settings this time. So under theme settings, you can actually edit or customize the logo, which we already have added, the colors, typography, the layout. So for instance, you would want to change the background color. You can simply drag down to the color of your choice and simply click on it. Basically, it will automatically uh, change once you have decided on the color of your choice. All right. So now once you've decided on the color, you can simply see the changes being added in a while. All right, now let's try to change the text as well and the color of the text. Okay, there you have it. 
Once you have added the colors that you would want to add in your homepage section, then simply go to the next parts of your choice. Um, as for me, let me just choose the colors first. Okay, I want to have this kind of color scheme. The pink, violet, and red-ish. There, there is also a gradient color that you can add into your theme section, actually. So there, you can see it in the footer section. All right. Now, once done editing this page or this section, go to the typography. So under typography, you can actually edit the font style of the body, the headings, and whatnot. So simply change or select change in order for you to choose a font of your style. Say for example, we're going to make use of this one. Now it will change our um, headings basically. Alright, now let's select on it. Now moving on to the next part, we actually have the layout. So for the layout, we have the page width, a uh, grid, horizontal space, and vertical space. If you want to adjust those, you can simply um, adjust it by dragging the circle in the line right there by increasing it or decreasing it. Okay, now here under brand information, you can actually add some descriptions, your headline, and the likes. You could also add your social media links, like the one I have shown you a while ago. You could do that. Alright, now for the cart, you can actually choose a cart type and select a selection or a collection, basically. Now for instance, you would have your cart type with a pop-up notification instead. And then you could enable your cart note as well. All right, now moving on, you can also have your checkout um, page right there and you can select the banner, the logo, and whatnot if you would like to add it on your checkout page. Okay, there, and then hit on done afterwards. So you will be seeing this in your checkout page if you go to the checkout section. All right. Now, moving on to the next part, we have our logo right here. So, if you want to add your logo to your checkout um, page as well, you can do that and simply click on that specific picture that of your choice. All right. So, there you could also remove the image. Just simply select on change and remove image. You could also add a main content area. Uh, you can simply select in a background image. And also, you can add a color as well. Now, for the slide, you could also add an image right there. And there you have it. It has been added to the slide section. Alright. So, if you want to change the... Um, Letters as well, you could do that here under heading, the heading size, button links, and whatnot. Okay, you could also go to the theme settings. And under theme settings, um, if you want to go to app embed section, or if you go to app embed section, you can enable the applications that you have linked to your Shopify store here, and it will show on your page basically. So, for example, Let's move on to the next section, which is our product section. There you can see changes have been made with the letters. Okay. So basically, if you try to edit the color of the typography in the theme settings, it will change all. Okay, now, but for example, we're going to change the font type here so 
let's click on a specific font type and as you can see it has changed all right now moving on let's go to our cart okay i will just show you some parts of it since these are just the most important um pages in my shopify app store basically now here you can actually edit the checkout page in your theme settings you cannot do that in the section settings all right now simply go to card type and select a an banner image and whatnot so there now here for the checkout uh, let me show you how to edit this section so a while ago i added a picture right there but it doesn't look good on our checkout page so let's remove that one right there later on okay now under checkout we can actually add a banner background image um as for me i'm not gonna do that or let's try to see okay now here you could also add the logo of your store your logo is very important here for the main content area you can actually add an alternative text as well but i don't think it looks good so let's remove the image and i will be adding a background color instead so in the background color i'm just going to use this color scheme that i have used a while ago in my home page basically all right there you have it okay now below you could also see the typography of the headings and body here on your checkout counter so all you need to do is choose a specific font and body all right and there you have it so here under colors you could also choose the colors or the uh, font or basically for the letters in it in your checkout page and even the buttons as well so there you have it okay so once you are done um making all the changes oh one last section that we have right here by the way is our custom css so if you do know how to do web page creation through coding you can do that one and here beside um, the ellipses button you can also edit the code and in this section when you edit the code if again you do have the knowledge of web page creation through coding then you can actually input all the necessary changes in this section. All right, now let's click on save here in the upper right hand corner. Okay, there you have it. Now let's check the home page and how it looks like. Let's try to see how it looks like in the mobile version as well. Okay, so this is how it looks like in the mobile version basically. Let's go back to our desktop and there okay so we have already edited our refresh um theme section now let's go back to our theme store and let's try to view our customized refresh shop okay there now let's try to publish it if you want to make use of that as your um, what you want your customers to see on your Shopify store, you can publish it basically. And there you have it. So basically, this is how it looks like when you publish your Shopify app store refresh. So that's about it for today's video, guys. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and hope you guys enjoy.